In this part of the tutorial, I'm going to mainly look at showing you just some uh, some techniques, uh, some final techniques that you can use to implement as you're kind of sorting through, adding the detail to your characters, um, as well as some little tips and tricks to better sort out some uh, topology issues that you might encounter. So let's go ahead and just get right into this. Um, first thing that I can see here um, by looking at my mesh I can see uh, we have this crossing pattern of our edges uh, and while it might not seem like it's causing any uh, issues on the surface uh, it's really not a, a clean way of uh, modeling especially since there's a very easy solution um, and mainly what we're going to focus on here is basically following the edges uh, from this vertice this edge is basically going straight across and this one is going up here and ending this way uh, or you could look at it that instead of coming straight to this point it's coming way over here and coming back um, regardless of which way you want to look at it uh, a good technique for fixing issues like this or any issue that you see that you're having on the on the surface of the mesh to try to fix it best thing to do is to find the vertice like this one that uh, gives you the uh, the problems and remove it and now we have kinda like a clean slate that we can go about uh, reworking uh, the mesh so I'll just go ahead and cut and we'll just cut right across because this would make the most sense to me and then we come Cross that way, and now we have we've gotten rid of that issue, and this looks a lot cleaner um, than it did before. Uh, let's see, we got a quad there and a try here. Uh, we could see if we could figure out a way of kind of alleviating this problem, and. Uh, not really see anything off the top of my head. Um, some things that I do see is this area, and like I've said before, uh, sometimes it's pretty much uh, the best thing that you can do uh, to get a certain look on your model is to uh, to have a vertice just kind of end like this right here. But other times, uh, especially when you're going through cleaning your mesh up. Uh, like towards the end it's a good idea to go through and see if you can figure out ways to solve uh, any problems that you were having and let's see I guess technically I could just come straight across and we'll cut right to there let's see yeah I'm pretty happy with that um, these little wrinkles that we see here on the mesh um, the best thing that we can do in this situation is actually just uh, the same kind of thing that we just did um, is basically remove the vertices uh, one by one and recut in the topology it's a little bit of a uh, but as you can see that has been fixed uh, so we'll come in here I'll do the same thing we see goes away and all we have to do is recut in the segments as we see it's fixing it so it's a uh, it's a little bit of a process I'll give it I'll give that to you but sometimes it's just the easiest way to make adjustments and to fix problems is to go through 
and fix it completely from scratch. And that's essentially all I'm doing here is just working my way around. And just redoing the topology. And as we do it, we are eliminating those problem areas that we had on the mesh. So we can see. it's pretty clean there and we have some more issues here so I'm not gonna worry about going around and uh, doing all those just know that that's something that um, I would do and you might not ever see anything like that on your mesh um, that's fine it's just something that's uh, appearing on mine and just wanna kinda fix it um, looking at this some final adjustments I'm gonna make are these hands are still just a little too big for my taste and I think I'll take those making sure just to get those okay we'll push that back and then straighten it out there. Yeah, that's a little bit more kind of what I'd like to see. So, um, just reworking your tries. The best advice I can give you is um, always trying to to maintain quads. Um, as much as you can, but if you know there are situations where we've you just you know it's causing problems on the mesh, um, then you might have to uh, see if you can you know find ways to get quads into tries or maybe even leave end guns like we uh, have right here. It all depends on uh, what's going on for that particular uh, model at that time. So I'm just going to loop this one around. Let's make some final little tweaks here. Like this maybe even scale it. We could also just hold control and remove them. Now we've got some weird vertices hanging out, so I'm not going to do that. That wasn't a good idea. So, um, as far as you know, detail, detailing, you know, like I said, knowing how you want your anatomy to look, um, having a good idea of the way you want your anatomy to look, and just kind of seeing where you're going to need to place things if you're going to what the balance is between adding new edges um, or just maximizing the old ones it's really just it's an art form uh, to say the least and there's no uh, right or wrong way the only wrong way I can tell you is if it doesn't look good then you probably did it the wrong way other than that it's it's an art and it's best left up to the artist to make those decisions so I'm just making some final little tweaks here and we could spend hours doing this we really could might even come in here and let's do some painting what the 
that to be a little bigger. Want that to be a little bigger back here. that so again once you uh, get to the point to where you think you're done with your model it's always good to just kind of go over and make a final pass on uh, taking a look at your topology and seeing if there's any things that you might have missed things that you can do better like right here it'd probably be good for me to get rid of those And just always kind of looking and seeing what your results are getting you. definitely a lot that needs to be done uh, here on the forearms but uh, I'm not going to worry with it too much at this point because um, some of the things that I'm actually thinking of doing is putting like forearm braces on him um, so if that's going to be the case I'm going to go ahead and show you some uh, basically what I would do in that case so going to I'm going to pick me an area, say something like right around there. And I'm going to try to keep it somewhat even. I don't want that. But I do want these. Okay, so it's pretty even going all the way around. So we will extrude by local normal. And we can, let's say about like that, and just make it even four. So local normal. And now with just these polygons selected, I'm going to relax them just to kind of smoothen out since we had the uh, rough muscle mass going on around that area. After we've extruded, we just relax it to make it seem like there's... Uh, a different material so we have the roughness of the skin and then we have something else going on here and we definitely definitely are going to have to do something with our smoothing groups so I'm going I need to select this middle these new edges that were created. So I'm going to select on one of those. I'm going to ring, which will select all of those. And all of those. Hold control and switch over to polygon. And as you see, that selects those. And now we will put those to their own smoothing group.
until our turbo is smooth to separate by smoothing groups. And now the only thing we've got to do is get these last new edges. So if I come in here and do edge and we'll take all of these and we will ring them. Hold control polygon okay so we'll just hold control and add those. So essentially we've got the skin on smoothing group one and as you can see this one's on smoothing group one as well. well I'm going to set this if this edge is on two I'm going to go ahead and set this to three and as you can see we have a lot harder of a crease now around our arms which is what we wanted So now we could do all, you know, we could add spikes or whatever. So I think he's looking pretty good at this point. Um, just remember that uh, anytime you are modeling, uh, whenever you think that you're ready to be done, to always kind of go over and give it that final pass uh, with the topology and see if there's any areas that you can clean up or fix. Um, as far as his head goes, uh, I'm not even concerned about the head at this point. I'd probably just leave it like that, at, you know, since this was just an exercise in, uh, in modeling. Um, probably never going to use them. Who knows? Um, I might do something with them later on, but just kind of wanted to use this as a way to show, show you guys kind of how I approach modeling. Let's see. I'm going to auto grid so I could give him all kinds of things at this point give him spikes but I'm pretty much happy with it and uh, and done with it now the next tutorial uh, that we're gonna do I'm actually gonna wrap this up uh, as far as box modeling a character uh, the next one is gonna be modeling a face um, probably not going to come back to this guy anymore. I'm pretty much done with him. But uh, keep looking out in the character uh, section of Max Tutorials. Uh, we're going to do this kind of thing again, but actually taking a character from beginning to end a lot simpler. Uh, not really worrying too much about anatomy and stuff like this. But it'll be a uh, very simple character that we will take through the entire step. Um, the, every single process uh, from modeling to rigging to animating uh, texturing and everything so anyway I hope that you've uh, learned something from these tutorials um, I hope that if nothing else that you have gained a little bit more confidence about your own skills when it comes to um, modeling this way uh, box modeling basically um, main thing just stick with it study your anatomy um, and make sure you've got ideas uh, for the characters that you want to make that definitely helps goes a long way when you have character ideas so with that uh, thanks for watching these tutorials um, like I said we'll see you next time um, when we cover Mile in the face uh, too bad it won't be this guy's face alright keep modeling